What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the show. This is the Save Show podcast with your host, Justin. This is a weekly updated journal where you will see me struggle to become a better man, better husband, better father, and most importantly, you'll see as I continue to walk closer to God in my relationship with Him. Welcome to 2023. We're back. It, I took a couple weeks off. I uh, had some other things going on, which I'll get into in this episode. Today will be mostly a personal update, uh, and then as we get into the year, I've got interviews lined up. I've got other topics to cover. If you guys have any suggestions or want me to cover anything, don't hesitate. Let me know. We've got uh, our email address. The store page has a contact us. There's Instagram. There's YouTube. Rumble. However you want to reach out, uh, I'm always checking that stuff. So let me know if there's a topic you want covered. I took a couple weeks off. The last podcasting activity that I did was actually someone else's show. Uh, so when that show is dropped, uh, the episode's dropped, I'll make sure to share it. I think uh, I think it went well. It was fun. It's nice to be the interviewee instead of interviewer, if that makes sense. Uh, when it's just me, it's a lot of, or, you know, when it's my show, when it's here, when we have guests on. I love the conversation with people. love to talk to my, you know, friends or acquaintances through the internet. Uh, probably friends now since they've been on the show. It's a lot of fun. It's good, but it it is a lot of me doing this and, and mentally I'm I'm locked in and trying to, you know, understand and parse things out. And I had a question here. Let's bookmark that and wait for for a break and and when we can bring it up. Um, so being the interviewee and being sort of led through that process and being on the other side of it, it was really fun. Hopefully uh, we can do that again sometime. It's a great show. Um, I won't spoil anything, but the guy uh, who who runs the podcast is doing some good work, and yeah, I think the episode will speak for itself. It was fun, but we're back. 2023, this is actually a year from the first episode that I put out, which is crazy. I can't believe it's been a year already of this passion project, this little little thing that I'm putting together on the weekends, nights and weekends. It's fun. It's a good hobby, I think. I didn't really anticipate anybody listening, so I'm very appreciative that you're here, uh, and I think that uh, I think that God's doing something through this, whatever that is, um, remains to be seen by me, but hopefully you guys are getting something out of this as much as I am. I know that there's people out there with, with questions, wanting to understand things better, um, needing help understanding how to be better in everyday life, uh, like I say in the intro, better man, husband, father, and and believer first and foremost. Um, so we'll, this year we'll get into some scripture. Uh, next week I have a recording session with someone who is very much uh, similar to Stoic Christian, similar to uh, Cole from um, the Theopolitan Instagram page. Um, this is going to be Method Ministries. If you've seen him on Instagram or YouTube, um, he's going out there and, and evangelizing and, and doing interviews like I am that are more so geared towards higher level topics. I think this is like a, an appetizer for the kind of stuff that, that he has on his episodes on his uh, YouTube channel and what he's putting out there on Instagram. So go check it out. That interview is coming, uh, episode inbound as well. But that's it for this month. I'm trying to do guests once a month. I do enjoy the practice uh, for myself, my own personal public speaking skill of doing these little journals by myself. Uh, and then once a, once a month, you know, I get a break, as it were, and uh, get to talk to some really cool guys um, and ladies if, if anybody wants to come on. Um, not, not opposed to it. This is mostly a 50-50 split. I think it does lean more towards men as far as listeners go. Uh, the Instagram page is like 80% men, so maybe it's not the thing for, for ladies what I'm putting out there. Um, but yeah, it would be great to have anybody on. Um, if you know anybody or or you want to come on yourself, let me know, and we can talk about it. Uh, someone did tell me to try to get Jocko Willink on the show, um, so no spoilers, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens this year. Could be fun. Personal updates. That's uh, what I wanted to get through today. And actually, after this, I will get this episode put out, and I will then go drop the new designs um, that I had shared on Instagram. If you're following on Instagram, you would have seen a little preview of this design that we're putting out. Let's see. That way. A little 
Ave Christus Rex, Christ is King. Um, this one is a large, it is a heavyweight cotton. It's comfort colors, uh, which I really like. And it's the, let's see, I'm not wearing it. Um, it's the same material of the Innocent as Doves, uh, Wise as Serpents, or, you know, flip that. Wise as Serpents, Innocent as Doves, um, Matthew shirt that's out there. So if you have that one, it doesn't have the pocket square, but same great feel. Um, after I got a sample here, I, I used it to work out in. I put it through two wash cycles, uh, you know, send it to the dryer as well, obviously. Um, and quality checked, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be a good one. So if you want that, I'm going to try to get that out tonight uh, or sooner, maybe this afternoon. Never know. Dad life, it's the weekend. So could have to uh, play Legos or something, watch a movie later. Um, and I think that you guys would agree I should probably do that and spend time with the family first and foremost. Um, so that's coming to the store. So that's why today, personal personal uh, update, uh, things about the show, and then everybody will get on with their day. This will come out tomorrow, Sundays. I think Sundays work best for the show moving forward. Uh, so you'll have that to look forward to. The theme of the year, uh, as far as, as I am concerned, we'll see what God or, or what whatever comes up this year, but the theme um, is going to be centered around 1 Corinthians 16, 13, uh, favorite verse of mine, um, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. And I'd even throw in uh, verse 14, do everything in love. So uh, no quarter given, uh, whatever it takes. You know, I could say a bunch of hot key words to try to illustrate what I mean um, with this verse being at the forefront of what we're trying to do here. Um, but as the culture war uh, intensifies, let's say, there's plenty of things that you're seeing on the news, listening to on podcasts, seen on Instagram, and you know, blah, blah, blah. As, as all that ramps up, uh, I think it is equally important for us to ramp up um, our, you know, scripture reading, getting into the word, understanding more uh, biblical concepts, understanding more of what God wants from us, um, how we're made in his image, things like that to fight said culture war. So as we move into the year, might be some controversial topics covered, might be some controversial statements, some, um, I used to call them hot takes, but that might be more so uh, a full-length episode. Um, so that's what you can expect this year. You know, if I lose you as a listener um, because of some of that stuff, or you skip an episode, that's, that's fine. Um, no, no hard feelings. Uh, hopefully you come back and you know, listen when your heart is ready, uh, when your ears are opened. Um, but we're going to be courageous, we're going to be strong, and we're going to stand firm in our faith um, no matter what happens this year. Um, yeah, that's kind of the direction that I'd like to take this. So um, as, as much fun as having my friends on and, and kind of um, just, just yapping. <laughs> you know, for an episode, I would like to continue to have on um, men and women that are evangelizing, uh, pushing the envelope, moving forward um, in the culture, in ch in the church, um, doing things that glorify God and, and continue to do battle with the evil forces of this world. So that's what you can expect. Uh, same goofy reels that I'm putting out there on Instagram. Uh, some of those include 75 hard stuff, more um, fitness or, or gym or, or personal growth kind of posts. Um, take it or leave it as well on Instagram. Um, but yeah, that's the vision for the year. Now it's on me to, de to deliver. As far as the store goes, that's the show, that's Instagram. As far as the store goes, the saved.store, go check it out. New stuff coming today. I think I will do uh, drops once a quarter. I will refine and um, create quality designs um, and not necessarily put out everything that I think looks cool. Um, I know that I can put out anything that looks cool, but I think having a, a more of a regular schedule, unless God leads me another way, uh, there will be the shirts that come out today and then maybe nothing until April. And what I will do myself as I try to learn um, how to do this business thing is market what's already on the store and, uh, and see if people... Um, people like it because I'll be honest uh, if you're out there hoping to start a business one day and you're observing the last year me kind of fumbling <laughs> hopefully you're learning something um, the designs is fun putting it on the website still fun 
and then you get to the marketing stuff and continually getting things in front of people in order to see if it gains interest. Um, that's kind of where I dropped the ball last year. So drop something and then we'll, we'll run with it for a few months and uh, see how it goes. Um, somebody ordered this morning uh, 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 five items, which is the biggest order we've had yet. So very appreciative um, to you um, if you're listening. Won't drop any names. Um, but yes, very appreciative. Couple hats, a uh, few shirts, and uh, this individual is already wearing the Christ is King hat uh, quite often from what I see. So that's everything as far as the show, as far as Instagram, the store, what you can expect this year. Um, all Everything that I'm putting effort into, this, this passion project of mine is intended to be um, evangelizing. It's become a, a ministry um, that I think would be geared more so towards non-believers than believers, um, trying to engage with people so they start to think about things. Um, and then and these guys that I'm having on that are guests uh, are more so geared towards evangelizing, of course, but then there's also um, settling theology within the church for, for believers. So you know, premillennialism, postmillennialism, dispensationalism. Um, these guys are covering a lot of that stuff. I'm still learning about that myself. So with the show here, what you'll be getting is, is more an appetizer. Like I said, um, try to get you interested in, in a relationship with God. Try to see um, where we land, um, where we can have a conversation, a dialogue, if you will. And then those guys are great for or believer to believer kind of conversations. Personal updates continued. I am doing 75 hard currently. Uh, this is a mental challenge. It's not designed to be a fitness challenge, according to Andrew Frisella, CEO of First Form, who created it. Uh, so for 75 days, the rules are I have two 45-minute workouts, one of which has to be outside. I have to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book. I have to pick a diet and stick to it. No cheat days, no alcohol. I have to drink a gallon of water per day, and I have to take a progress picture each day. 12 days in, still going strong. Um, let's see, workouts. I've been doing a lot of rucking, um, like a fast walk with a rucksack on with my plate plate in, um, so to do that outside. It's cold in Iowa, so sometimes it feels like four degrees, but we've been we've been putting on layers and still getting out there. Inside, I do have uh, a weight set. You could say I've got the bench, but the weights, the heaviest I can get is 100 pounds. So I'm doing um, high rep, or uh, yeah, high rep, um, high volume type stuff with that bar. I've got two kettlebells, and I've got a center mass bell, and then that ruck plate. It's 20 pounds, so it's kind of nice for some exercises. Uh, my wife recently got me these dice that you can roll, and it's got a calisthenics, um, more body weight exercise on it, like planks, wall sits, mountain climbers, leg raises, reverse crunches, crunches, run for a minute, push-ups, pike push-ups, you know, all those kinds of things. So those have been a great tool as well, um, and that's what I'm doing more so for the indoor 45-minute workout. I am reading Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis currently, my diet, um, and this is where I guess I have some good news. I don't know if you guys have seen, uh, I should have taken before and after pictures, um, but for the last couple of years I've had eczema on my hands. Um, it doesn't look super gross, it's just my hands are all red and inflamed, um, and in the winter they're very dry and cracked. Um, and so for my diet, something to help with that, um, and as well as fueling me for, <laughs> for 90 minutes of exercise per day, uh, I chose to do gluten-free, uh, low to no sugar, and low to no dairy. So gluten-free, 100%, and the rest, um, that dairy and sugar, is I'm allowing for a margin of error, let's say. Um, and so the test is to see if it helps my hands. Um, and I would say, like I said, good news, less inflamed, less irritated, less eczema, um, all doing well. So I think, I think it's the gluten I'm avoiding. I think it's the, uh, no sugar that I'm having. I used to, well, I don't, I wouldn't say every day, but most days towards the later half of the year, 
2022, my wife and I would have a couple of cookies fresh baked um, every night, and those were fantastic. But taking that sugar um, out as well as all the normal stuff, you know, you eat around the holidays, getting back to uh, more of a net zero as far as sugar consumption has been great so far. Um, I'm still having dairy if it's baked into something, so we make uh, our own bread gluten-free, and if there's milk in it or, or some butter, um, I'm letting that slide, uh, and it seems to be to be working, like I said. So gluten-free uh, is the non-negotiable uh, as far as the diet goes for a 75 hard. That is my diet. As far as my personal reasons, the, the eczema stuff, I've got uh, no sugar, and then the dairy-free uh, as much as possible as well. And I don't know if it's just me. It might be a mental thing. I haven't put any research into it, but I feel like dairy, once it's baked, is a different animal, and maybe your body tolerates it more, and I don't know where that that thought comes from, but um, it's working. So there's our diet, um, workouts, diet, book. Uh, up next, I think I'll do, as far as reading goes, 10 pages a day, the books are going to go pretty fast. I think I'll do Confronting Christianity, um, that's right here in one of my stacks. I also have a uh, dispensational, no, let's see, what is it? It's three views on the millennium, I think, uh, about pre and post millennialism. So like I said, trying to understand some of this stuff better myself. Um, but I think I'll do confronting Christianity next. Um, and I think that's everything. Oh, you know, things that you can still anticipate on Instagram, I'm still gonna post every day. Uh, that's been my goal since August or September. It's been an everyday thing. A lot of reels. Reels are fun. I enjoy making those. Um, yeah, 75 hard is doing. It's going well. Uh, if you are thinking about doing it, I would recommend because of experience the last 12 days to plan out your day. Um, last weekend was the first weekend while on said program, 75 hard, and I didn't plan on Saturday very well. I had an event at church, a uh, men's breakfast with my dad, then we came here to the house, we worked on my snowblower, which uh, wouldn't start, which is not fun when it snows. And then hours had gone by on Saturday morning, the next thing I know I still have this hour and a half of fitness to do. So um, every weekend day, you know, since and into the future, uh, unless otherwise planned, I'll, I'll wake up early, like 4 or 4.30, and I'll get in one of the workouts, and then I have uh, my toddler's nap time to get in the other one. Um, probably just um, I'll probably just continue to ruck or run or walk during his nap time because that seems to work well. So that's my advice so far, 12 days in. <sighs> it's good to be back. It's fun. One year anniversary. It's wild. Look how far we've come. <laughs> the production value is through the roof, ladies and gentlemen. I used to record with my phone and these Apple uh, AirPods. The sound quality wasn't great. There was no uh, visual. There was a very, very quickly put together logo for the whole shebang. Um, yeah, episodes weren't really thought out that well started to utilize more of an outline towards the later half of the year. My skill in iMovie has grown exponentially. So forgive my musings. I'm just excited to, to be a, a year into this. It's fun. That's it for me. Uh, like I said, the theme of the year, the verse of the year, is going to be 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything and love. Uh, I keep referencing it because I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> but with that, I'll go get some shirts out there for you guys. I'll go edit this so it drops tomorrow. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the new year. If you failed your uh, New Year's resolution already, good luck with Lent. That's a joke. And uh, I love you. God loves you. And please remember that you are saved.